My family sings part of Psalm 103 each Friday evening. We have a blessing service, I guess you could call it. We bless the Lord, my men bless me, my husband blesses the children, my one son reads scripture as a blessing over the household, we pray the Lord's Prayer, we take communion together, and we sing Psalm 103. Psalm 103 is a declaration of the Lord's salvation. We have so great a salvation, we are urged to not forget it. He forgives our sins and removes them from his sight. That, by the way, is how we are to forgive. We need to imitate God and forgive with forgetfulness. We need to not see the sin when we look at the person. The Lord heals our diseases. There's a woman at my church who was diagnosed with cancer, and the Lord said to her, This is where the rubber meets the road. She had been praying for years about having faith and trusting Him, and He finally called her on it. She decided not to go through with any treatments, and she was completely healed. The Lord redeems your life out of destruction. We get ourselves into all sorts of trouble. Humans are really good at multiplying the curse. But the Lord can not only get us out of trouble, He can redeem it, meaning He can use it for good. He can use it for His good purposes in our lives and for His glory. Praise God and bless His name. He's the God of righteousness and justice. He will execute justice in our case. The devil took advantage of our sin and accused us, but God has declared us justified and all accusations unfounded and will bring justice where Satan has robbed us of it. God is merciful and gracious. He does not punish us according to our sin. We deserve hell. We're not getting it. We're getting an eternal blessed life in the presence of the one who made us and loves us. The Lord rules over all. Submit yourself to his kingdom. Serve the king. His salvation is worthy of your service.